Hey, I'm Andy Chanley from 88.5 The SoCal Sound, and I am in Austin, Texas for South by Southwest, and we have corralled Overcoats to spend a couple of minutes with us and play us some songs. It's a 88.5 SoCal Sound session. Hello. Hello. Hi. Uh, and here uh, next to me is J.J. Mitchell, and over there is Hannah Elian. Uh, so glad to, to is, actually, I met you before briefly, uh, you're forgiven for forgetting. You we came didn't in for forget. a session. I didn't forget. You came in for a session, like I want to say three and a half, four years ago. Must have been at the station. Mm -hmm. uh, you came in to to spend some. I think it was for a World Cafe thing at the time. Um, tell me everything that's happened to you since then, and don't skip a detail. Wow. Okay. So the day after we played. <laughs> Um, gosh, a lot has happened. <laughs> it's been a minute. A lot has yeah. changed. A lot is still the same. Yeah. I don't know if that was for our first or second record that we came in. It was, it was, I think it was 2019. So, so it, probably our promoting we our second just, record. Yeah, just, yeah. just starting yeah. the second one. Yeah. Well, well we've, it yeah. took us a while, but we've just finished our third. Really? And it's coming out April 7th. I don't believe that it exists. No. Well, as a matter of fact, I brought one just in case. What? You, you know, were incredulous. <laughs> there this it is. is it. It's called Winter. Uh, Overcoats, Winter. That's a lovely photo. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, that will be your debut album on 30 Tigers, is That's that right? That's correct. Nice. Yes. Nice. I cannot wait to hear it. I have not heard it yet. Um, but it comes out April 7th. So you'll be able to buy it wherever you buy out. And is there going to be actually vinyl available? If I go, where can I get the vinyl? Oh yeah, yeah. You can. Well, you can pre-order the record now through our website, overcoatsmusic.com. Overcoatsmusic.com. And then um, it'll be available in most retail places. Oh my God! Is it not all of it's that way? Some of it is brown. Some, some of, of it is, is blue. Look at that. It's yeah. brown. It's see-through. It's, yeah, it's like it's smoky. Very cool. Very oh, cool. that's really cool. I just got a turntable again. Oh my gosh! This last summer, turntables. First are time back. in in like 40, 30 years I've had a turntable. Wow! And I'm like buying, um, uh, replenishing my vinyl collection. That's There's so just fun. something about and to the have physical. the the lyrics. They're just beautiful on it. art just, pieces, really. Yeah. Like they're just yeah. And if you have to roll the doobie, you no. Um, totally. <laughs> Uh, Legal you, need a, in California. you need a double album for that. <laughs> yeah. let's, let's be honest. Um, I've heard, and I haven't heard it, it yet, but I've heard that uh, some of the stuff that we're going to hear has maybe a little bit more of a country vein in it. That's what happens when you record in Nashville. Ah. Yeah. yeah. JJ has been living in upstate New York for the past year, and I've been in LA. We just kind of took a little time outside of the city, and so we met in Nashville to make the record. Um, That's great. And worked wow. with this producer, Daniel Tashian, um, who definitely has some country history. He does a lot with like KC and stuff. So um, we definitely Casey. allowed Casey Musgraves. Musgraves. Sorry, we're first, you, name, first name. Who, who you guys Never don't, matter. don't care for, right? Uh, is that, I mean, she's oh, not someone yeah, that you- Oh yeah, she's terrible. No, we love her. Um, so yeah, we definitely allowed some some kind of country twang Americana vibes into That's great. into yeah. the music this time, and we were happy to do so. I'm excited to hear it. Um, this is my first time meeting you. I mean, like talking to you for any. Uh, uh, I, we may have said, uh, "Excuse me, can I get through here?" Yeah. or something like that. In fact, I think we did. I think that's yeah. <laughs> that was the sum total. Yeah. Um, what? Tell me about your your musical origins like did you start with a particular instrument each of you um <laughs> hannah always tricks me at this kind of question in an interview by saying that i played the accordion so i just want to get out in front and say i did not play the accordion it was being the modest. Bagpipes. Yes. She's being <laughs> yeah. modest i actually started on bagpipes um <laughs> i did not play any instruments growing up um i was a big shower singer mm and backseat of the car singer and never really sang in public until I met Hannah um, in college and she heard me singing to myself in like a little, um, what, what are those rooms? I think we were in a bathroom the first time. Oh, maybe we were in the dorm bathroom. And this is in New York City? This was in um, Connecticut where we went to college. Um, and yeah just started singing with Hannah. A lot of amazing harmony singing 
where we were like, whoa, our voices go very well together. Um, and yeah, that's kind of how we started together. Hannah, of course, played flute in the yes. symphony orchestra. And zither, zither, you know, I believe. You I actually <laughs> did try flute and I could not get it. Couldn't handle it, couldn't do it. Um, I played, I, my parents um, put me in piano lessons thinking it would make me more studious. I gravitated quickly towards electric guitar. Um, so I was, I was playing guitar from probably like 11 or 12 years old. Um, and then also like to sing, but it was very private. Like it was not like I was wanting to, you know, go out and sing my like original songs for anybody. It was, right. it was sort of a like thing that I would do for myself. Um, early garage band user. Nice. Yeah. Uh, do you still have that guitar? I do. Do you? How old yeah. is it? How old, old is it? No, it was an old Squire or what, what's the? Yeah, it was a Squire. Is it? It's, it was a Squire. It's and everybody's then, first electric guitar. Yeah, and then um, I also have my first acoustic, which is a Garrison. Wow. Um, and yeah, they are sitting, growing dusty in my parents' house right now because <laughs> I have newer, cooler guitars to play now. Nice. <laughs> um, so excited that you guys uh, are here in South by Southwest to share your new music with people. And I'm told you're going to share some new music with our listeners. You're going to do three songs for us? Yes. What are you going to do? Do you know? Yes. We're going to do um, one song from our new record called New Suede Shoes that recently came out. And then we're going to do two oldies but goodies from our last record, The Fool and Fire and Fury. Awesome. Thank you so much for taking time. Uh, this is South by Southwest. This is my first time to South by Southwest. Oh my God. I know. Are you, I know. Are you okay? I just <laughs> fell off the turnip truck. You know, I yeah, feel yeah, like yeah. people can see I'm a bumpkin. Uh, yeah. But the way it works in, South, in, in Austin uh, during this week is uh, there are no rules. <laughs> and That's so, correct, you know, really. you, you go anywhere you can and everywhere you go, there's there's music playing. Uh, so I'm glad you guys are going to share some stuff with us. Uh, the new album, once again, is available on April 7th. It's called Winter. It's lovely. Go out and buy it wherever you buy records. And uh, I'll turn it over to, uh, to Overcoats. This is 88.5, the SoCal Sound and a SoCal Sound session. <laughs> 